It's good to be back with some more bee-themed things. <laughs> this be a door hanger. <laughs> and I be making this using the Glowforge. And I will be using the Cricut to make mine. And we will be layering some vinyl and using some slicing techniques. <laughs> I'll show you how we do it right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do it, Lily, to make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, it be spring. So we're going to make a bee-themed door hanger. Yep, we're going to do two, two methods. We're going to use our Glowforge for one, and then I'm going to use the same SVG. Did I say that right? SVG? This is VG. SVG. Maybe it was. Maybe I said it with an accent. Yeah, it was an Italian accent. It was good. I liked it. <laughs> and I'm gonna, it. I'm gonna cut mine out of vinyl and use an 18-inch door round. Yep. I'm gonna use a Glowforge, and Simon will be cutting it out of the creek. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Before we get started, I'm gonna do a little house cleaning. Is that it? Housekeeping tips here to let you know that our spring merch, our T-shirt campaign here, ends on this Sunday the 21st, March 21st. So if you're interested in picking up one of our spring merch, this is a limited time design. Uh, oh, wow. It is, because after that, it'll be gone. It's just a campaign that you run. We're using Bonfire and we're running a t-shirt campaign and it lasts for, I don't know, what was it, two weeks? And, um, and it ends this Sunday, it'll, the 21st, my, if you're interested. It'll be in my drawer forever. So. <laughs> All right, let's get this project started. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies and kick the tape off the shelf. <laughs> I just needed some quarter inch MDF and some paint. And I'm gonna use oh, and some, glue. some vinyl, a little bit of paint for my backer and an 18 inch round. We'll be using an, an MDF round that I already have cut here. So we do offer these like oh blank rounds in our store, but this is what I'll be using to make mine. Get an 18 inch round. Anywhere. Anywhere. <laughs> Step two, we're going to make all of our cuts. I'm going to bring the quarter inch MDF over to the Glowforge and cut it out using the pass through. It's a little large, but I'll make a version of the SVG that will fit inside a basic or a plus. And I'm going to use the same SVG, and I'm going to cut mine out on the Cricut using the vinyl. Uh, but this, I'm going to show you a couple of techniques here. One, we're going to slice that image because his has a backer attached to a branch, and we're going to remove that backer because we don't need it because we're using the 18-inch round. So I'm going to show you how to slice that out slice and remove things. that piece. I'm also going to show you a little bit of techniques on layering vinyl. Nothing to it, uh, but if you're using this permanent 651 vinyl, you can, and as long as it's not on top of glitter vinyl, it's very easy to layer. Stickers on stickers on stickers. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, I should have had this side out. Isn't that much prettier? Oh, yeah, look and at the that. brown. That would have been a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> well, the brown matched my brown. All right. Okay, here we are in design space. We've imported our image. It comes in groups, so we're gonna ungroup it. We're gonna select just our words and attach those together. They become their own layer. And now everything else is on one layer, so we want to ungroup that layer so that we can see all of our different colors and get our branch by itself. So we're gonna hide everything but the branch and the backer. And now we're gonna add some shapes. We want to cover, we don't have a hive shape, so we're gonna add these little circles here and we're gonna add multiple circles to cover up all of the hive. Make this one oval. We're gonna get this other last little slice out right here. And now we're gonna hide our branch backer. Let me get that out of the way for a moment. We're going to select all of our shapes and we're going to weld them together and make them one shape. So it's kind of a beehive shape now. Now we've got one circle, one backer, and we're going to slice those. We're going to delete everything that we don't want, which is the hive, the circles, leaving just our branch here. 
Now our branch is longer than a 12 inch mat, so we're gonna add a 12 inch square here, lay it over, and we're going to select the branch and the square, and then we're gonna hit slice and delete all of the pieces we don't want. Now this will fit on our mat. We're gonna bring back everything, unhide all of our little layers here. All right, looks good. We're gonna hit make it. Uh-oh. Right over here, you can see we have a triangle here. It's indicating that our image is too large for our mat. So we're just gonna keep shrinking our image until the uh, error goes away. I'm gonna bring it back. We're gonna ride the line here. There we go, perfect. We'll hit make it. And now all of our multicolored pieces show up on their multicolored mats perfectly. This error up here is just saying that our branch is a little longer than 12 inches. That's okay. We want to be able to use this SVG inside a Glowforge Basic or Plus, so we're going to do some resizing and our own slicing and dicing. So first we're going to resize it because I don't feel like taking this hive piece and making this a puzzle piece. I'm just going to do the back branch. So let's resize it until this hive will fit inside the Glowforge. Now the tallest you can go inside the Glowforge is actually 10.93, so let's hold shift and take it down. What do I got? What am I at? Oh, 11.1. .1. So close. Select all. Take it down a smooch. A little sketch. What are we at? Still on 11. Select all. Scooch it on down. What do we got? 10.96. Almost there. Just another smidge. Oh, there we go. What are we at? 10.928, oh, I mean, I don't think we can get any better than that. All right, let's hide everything we don't want to slice. So let's go over to the layers, boop, 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 and hide our little, our little cut circles here. Boop. Now I want to slice this tree branch back here. I'm going to go up here over to my rectangle tool. I'm going to draw a rectangle. Oh, that's the same color, that won't work. Let's make it yellow. All right, I want it right underneath that branch. Get it right up under here. All right, now I'm gonna hold shift and select the tree branch and the rectangle. I'm gonna go to my Pathfinder window. I'm gonna open my Pathfinder window by going to Window, Pathfinder, and now I'm gonna go to Divide, Divide. I need to ungroup it, ungroup. I'm gonna select the rectangle piece, delete. Now you see the bottom's yellow. I need a way to connect them. Let's go get a puzzle piece and we'll connect them with puzzle piece connectors. All right, there's one. Now give me another one. Looks good. Select them both. Make sure they're aligned at the top. Align top. Zoom in. Let's see how we are. Oh, I'm pretty close. All right. Back them down a smooch. Oop, right there. All right, looks good. Now I'm gonna select the path for the two puzzle pieces. Select, and then I'm gonna hold shift, select. I'm gonna duplicate selection. I'm gonna hide the duplicated selection. All right, let's select the branch and the puzzle pieces. We're gonna go back to our Pathfinder window. And this time we're going to minus front. Hey, look at that. We got half of a puzzle. Let's unhide the other two puzzle pieces. Select the other part of the branch, the puzzle pieces. And this time we're going to unite them. There you go. I got a puzzle. Let's put everything back. Bam, bam, bam. All right, let's separate it to get it inside the glue forge. So the glue forge. Anything that touches, it considers one item. 
So we have to make sure everything is separated. So let's move the words over here. Let's get the leaves out of the way. Go on leaves. Oop, let's get the leaves out of the way. Leaves, leaves, leave. All right. Now these two pieces can't touch, otherwise you'll cut them twice. Well, you'll cut the top section, then you'll t cut the box at bottom section and your puzzle won't fit together correctly. So let's separate them. We'll select all. We don't want any fill in anything. And we'll give everything a stroke of red. We'll select the top branch. Make sure everything's grouped. Now we'll give that a different stroke, so it'll come in on a different layer. We'll make this one a royal blue. And we'll make the bottom one its own layer. So we'll give this one like purple. Purple sounds good. All right, we're just gonna export this as an SVG and go test this cut on the Glowforge. Step three. And now we paint. <laughs> It's a little off balance, but it came across. I'm going to use uh, all my country chic colors. I think I'm going in with a, I need a brown. I need my dark roast. That's right, dark Coming roast, very back, good. Getting my dark roast. I'm starting to learn the color names. Doing my backer into some dark roast. Um, although, you might not want to use dark roast. That might be too dark, you think? Oh, you think so? Don't I have a warmer brown? Do you have a warmer brown? Uh, no, that's that. But I think it is. Canape is your warm brown. Ooh, canape. I think that's what you want. Is this what I want? Canape. Yeah. Dark do roast I want to leave it empty? is very dark brown. What do you think about that color? Nah. And then canape is more of a real like, like a canape. Like a milk chocolate brown. I mean that's either. definitely the color I'm thinking when I hear canape. Yes. I'm like, oh yeah. And because I'll be using vinyl, I'll just be painting my backer. And um, I guess I could use canape too for my backer. It'll make it look like a tree branch. Oh, right, but I want to add the brown tree oh, branch. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. okay, now I remember why I had chosen this. I'd already chosen a different color. It's changing it on the fly. I'm going <laughs> to use Pop the Bubbly, which is a really light brown, because I'm going to put a dark brown branch on there. You don't want to paint like a sky behind there with some nice puffy clouds. Maybe a little happy tree. I'm not that good. No? No. <laughs> and add the vinyl. All right, I have my backer painted. My I'm gonna apply vinyl. I'm gonna apply more MDF. Get on down there. Oh, I didn't paint that. Aren't you gonna no, put the black in there? I'll put black in there. So the great thing about layering vinyl is you can just stack them one right on top of the other as long as there's no glitter vinyl underneath because it won't layer on top of glitter vinyl. Glitter vinyl can layer on top of everything else, but it cannot be a base layer. And with this 651 permanent vinyl, you can just stack them right on top of each other. And the great thing about this SVG is we're using the... Uh, branch is a backer so it really shows you the placement for each of these leaves it was really easy to line them up and our last layer here is the the the, diff, the most difficult 
all the little dots. Who would design something with so many little dots? Yes, who would design something like that? Cool, evil person. Here's the other thing about vinyl. When <laughs> you're layering it, once it sticks, it sticks. It's done. And it just slipped out of my hand when I dropped it. <laughs> oh, it's recut and reweed. No. Did you save it? No. Save it. It looks good what we got so far. Not bad. Let's see if I can just put it down. Oh, I think you saved it. Oh, bye, George. I think she saved it. It's saved. Good save. Good save. Very lucky. Well, now you don't have room for your, your bee hole. Well, who am I going to put my bee hole? <laughs> Gotta put this put it like real entrance low. to my hive. Just put it right here, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> you gonna do it again? Yeah. It's gonna be off to the side. Yeah. Just have to hang that way. Right? Mm-hmm. Well she's putting her bee hole down. I forgot to make mine in black. So I'm gonna cover my Whoa! It's not dry yet. What are you doing? Go oh I just moved the whole thing. Oh goodness. Well, um, here's the great karma. thing about vinyl. Once it's down, it's down. Oh. Now I was thinking after I did this, and I didn't have this thought until after the fact. I think because this is chalk paint, I think it would have been better to coat this in a polyacrylic first and seal that chalk paint in and then add the vinyl on top. This is weather resistant vinyl. This is a type of vinyl, the 651 permanent vinyl is what they'll use to make car decals out of. So you don't really have to worry about it getting wet. Uh, and I will spray this with polyacrylic after the fact, but you know, do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> add the polyacrylic first and then add your vinyl on top. Step five. And now we have the accents. Yeah, it's really just a ribbon to hang out. <laughs> uh, so I have some black and white ribbon. I think I'll use these. I would love to find something cute with the um, with a bee theme to it, but I think the yellows will be hard to match, so I don't think I could really use a yellow ribbon. So I'll stick with the black and white. This one is a black and white stripe, and it actually has some gold flecks in it. Yeah, like it's a really bee. cute. And then this one is obviously polka dot. We're cutting about 20 to 22 inches, about 20 inches. Yep. <laughs> the length of my arm. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's the length of your arm. <laughs> And then we'll just fold it in half and feed it through these little, well, we always add these slats in our uh, rounds. And Garrett can't really tie his yet. His is still wet, so I'm still wet. I'll show you with mine. My glue is still wet. Just tie a little knot in the back. Pull it tight. Wrestle with it a little bit. And there you go. And we use the wire ribbon to give it a little structure, make it a little stiff. Oh, mine's not wire ribbon. Are we supposed to have wire ribbon? You don't have to have wire ribbon. I feel like I brought non-wire ribbon to a wire ribbon fight. <laughs> I think yours will be fine. Step 
six. Vote. Which one came out better? Show it off. I like mine popping. Yes, yours looks great. When it finally dried. But I think this one with the vinyl looks great too. Yeah, no, I think they both look cool. Yeah, yours looks cool too. I like the polka dots. I do like the polka dots a little better than my my ribbon now that I see it. <laughs> I think it's fine. You know what you could do? It's fine. You, you could do it like, oh, turn it over. And then oh, like turn it the over. black side show. Oh, uh, yeah, like. Yeah, I know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do you think? Leave me a vote at down below. It's Garrett. <laughs> Garrett's is cool. I mean, I can't, I can't deny it. But if you don't have a Glowforge or you didn't want to purchase this kit, which will be available in our store. And the SVG. You could always buy the SVG and create it yourself. Oh, yeah. Little something for everybody. Little something for everybody. Whatever level you're on. <laughs> so we're about out of time. So if you're not going to join us on the Patron After Show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again and again. <laughs> Every week, making it again. Let's see, Let's see how symmetrical he is. Ooh, yeah. Think I could go from a leaf. Let's try it from a leaf. Oh wow. A leaf, going upside down and on the leaf. Ooh. I can balance it a bit. Round. <laughs>